The headline stopped me cold. A Roomba recorded a woman on the toilet. How did screenshots end up on Facebook? No way. That's got to be fake. That's the same thing I said earlier this week when I saw the Twitter announcement that you couldn't point to other social networks from Twitter or you would be banned. I should have known better. I checked the source on the Roomba story. Oh, man. MIT Technology Review. Yeah, I'd consider that a reliable source. So what's the backstory here? How in the hell did that happen? This is Mark Miller with his jaw hanging open in New York City. I don't want to exaggerate, so here's a quote directly from the MIT article. The images were not taken by a person, but by development version of iRobot's Roomba J7 series robot vacuum. They were then sent to Scale AI, a startup that contracts workers around the world to label audio, photo, and video data used to train artificial intelligence. So not only is Roomba cleaning your house, it's also mapping its environment, taking pictures of that environment, and sending them back to iRobot for analysis. In its defense, iRobot put out a statement that these are special development robots with hardware and software modifications that are not and never were present in iRobot consumer products for purchase. They were given to paid collectors and employees who signed written agreements acknowledging that they were sending data streams, including video, back to the company for training purposes. Think about that. Who in the world would knowingly sign that agreement? Well, it turns out, Anyone who got that version, when they accepted the end-user license agreement, signed off on it. When I sent this article to a friend, his response was, Holy shit, I've got one of those. Of course he signed off on it. No one reads the EULA. With that in mind, I started to think about other end-user agreements that are just as egregious. I called up a lawyer in New York City to talk through a possible recourse, and here's what we came up with. Starting in January, he and I are going to co-host a new podcast series, Wait, Wait, That's in My EULA? Each week, we'll talk through a major apps license agreement and expose what's in there, breaking down the legalese into small chunks so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you click that accept button. In the meantime, think about what you're doing the next time you say, Hey, Alexa, and consider where that information is going and who could be listening. See you in January. Listen to today's entire episode of It's 505 on your favorite podcast platform.